I've had the honour recently of judging the Wedding Industry Awards photography section. It's something that I've done for the past three years now and I always find it's a really interesting exercise. Um, it's good to be aware of what uh, others are doing in our market around, around the country and I suppose it's really checking out the, the competition. There are, of course there are, there are different markets within wedding photography, there's, there's, uh, depending, on, depending on price. Um, but it's always good to see what, what people are doing to just be aware really of, of what's going on in the industry, where, um, where we fit in, the, in our market and are we, are we kind of on the right levels? Is our website up to the same standard as the people who we think we're in line with price-wise and, and in terms of the quality of our work? It's interesting to see trends, editing trends. It's interesting to see how people market themselves, uh, what they say, the language they use, and the kind of, uh, I suppose from this you get the kind of couples that people are trying to attract. And it's sometimes uh, interesting, even if, you, even if um, I wasn't judging the Wedding Industry Awards, it's something I'd perhaps do from time to time, just to, just to check in on, on where I fit in. But more importantly, to make sure, I say fit in, that more importantly, and what I always say to uh, people who I'm mentoring is that the, 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 the aim is not to fit in, the aim is to stand out in a very crowded marketplace. Now, years and years ago, I, I ran a workshop which was called Stand Out From The Crowd, and I still believe in this. Um, there are two things that you can do to separate yourself from the, the competition. The first thing is you can be better than everybody else which is very difficult because it's a very subjective thing um, and some people can't necessarily tell the difference. Clients uh, who are looking for wedding photography, there are some who can really tell the difference and some who perhaps can't and they're swayed by different things. So to be better, the quality of your work um, needs to, to be visibly better than the other people who your potential clients are looking at. or you can offer something different and stand out from that crowded marketplace. To be, to be different is quite a difficult thing and it goes against our nature a little bit because what we, what we want to do is, is, is to be safe and to, to fit in and get a pat on the back from other wedding photographers to say, oh, well done, you've, you've done it the same as us. Don't stand out, don't be different. Um, don't, don't put us all to shame and uh, let's all just be safe and be the same here together. And sometimes when people stand out and do something different, within the bubble of wedding photography, which is not necessarily a, a, a healthy place to be, you can get some criticism. Um, people telling you how to do things and why you should be doing things the same way as they're doing it, or um, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't be saying that. But really, there are, there are no rules, this is, this is business. There are no rules, it's a very unregulated industry. So anything you can do um, to, be, to be different or better, has got to be uh, a positive for your marketing experience um, and for your, I don't know if that's a thing, marketing experience, I'm just coming out with words now. It's got to be a good thing for, for clients looking for a wedding photographer. What is it that separates you? Um, the other thing that, that ties in with that is, of course, um, your individuality, your personality. What can you, what can you bring to the table that, that no one else can? Um, your experience, the way you see things, it's completely unique, so all of these things tie in, it's all marketing, and I'm waffling on a bit about about marketing, and that wasn't really my my point, but let's, let's round that up here um, about standing out from the crowd. So to stand out from the crowd, to try and entice clients to, to book you, to be intrigued, to get in touch, be better than your competition and be different to your competition. And that is a good place to start. Cheers. So I just wanted to add to that kind of idea of being better or different in order to stand out from the crowd because I remember a, a recent mentoring session, somebody asked me if you had a, a choice, what, what would you do? Would you be different or would you be better? So my answer is always that you should be different. Um, 
being, being better is, is probably a slower uh, route to becoming noticed. Um, and potentially you get more kudos in the industry rather than with clients and it's, it's a more difficult way to stand out. If you're trying to be better, then basically what you're doing is you have a benchmark, so you, you have a, you almost have something that you're emulating but improving on. So in a way, it's, uh, it's less individual. If you're being different, then you're doing stuff that's, that's kind of, you're going from your gut, you, you're being creative from your own instinct. Um, and you're doing stuff that, that excites you and um, will excite your clients as well. Uh, and it will bring people in towards your business. Um, being different uh, is not particularly easy though, and it's not something that comes naturally to people, as I mentioned earlier on. Um, so you have to be a little bit brave. You have to potentially try things that might not work in the first instance. And being, being different will ultimately help you to become better because you will try things and you will fail but you'll also improve and you'll learn along the way um, but you have to put yourself in a, in a place of vulnerability from time to time um, and see what sticks so if that's your route which I hope it is then good luck with that keep keep trying keep striving go with your go with your gut go with your instinct and do stuff that excites you